Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, um, a very quick vlog. You may be wondering why I'm doing this from a very shaky mobile phone. Um, I'm actually about to set up a new computer case for my computer. You can see it down there. Um, it looks very sleek. So my computer's going to be out of commission for a couple of hours, but I wanted to tell you about my last 24 hours. Um, it's been a roller coaster of highs and lows. Um, yesterday morning, I was walking to work, carrying my phone, watching YouTube videos. Um, I think in particular, I was watching Blind Wave's Game of Thrones reaction. Um, so I placed the blame squarely on Blind Wave for what happened here. Um, I actually dropped my phone, which isn't an uncommon occurrence. I have done that on many occasions, and it has been fine. But unfortunately, this time, the screen cracked. Um, and in several places... Now, the screen was still working in terms of the LCD screen, so everything was still visible. But uh, it was quite obviously broken, the glass on top of it. So, I was kind of really bummed about that, because I'd kind of wanted it to run out of its contract, which it had like three months to go. And then I was going to switch on to a SIM-only plan, it saved me money, blah blah blah. So I decided, you know what, screw it. It's going to cost far too much to repair it. A screen repair for a six, S6 Edge is like £150. It's crazy. That's basically as much as I would get for the phone now. So I thought, screw it. I'll upgrade. I can do it free of charge. So I've got myself a new S7. A Samsung Galaxy S7. And so far it's pretty good. Um, I am preferring the shape of the phone to the Edge because the Edge is very fiddly. Um, the phone, yeah, it's nice. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm actually recording on it right now, so I don't know if you can tell a difference in camera quality from the front-facing camera. Um, apparently, it's got the best camera on the market right now for mobile phones. Um, but, so that was a tale of lows and highs. Dropping the phone, breaking it, getting a new one, pretty good. Um, another high was I was in work this morning, and every single day religiously, those of you who know me know that I go on so much about internet speed and internet quality that you're probably sick of hearing me by now. And every single day without fail, I check the OpenReach website to see when our premises is going to be available for fiber optic. For the last 12 months now, 12 months plus, we've been sat on, oh, it's in scope, which means that you're in part of a plan, but we haven't really thought about it. We're not moving forward yet with it. We'll see what happens. So this has been the most frustrating thing for me over the last year. And the only real downside to moving to Scotland was the internet. Um, so I went on this morning, expecting to see it at the same stage as always. And I was thinking, you know what? I can't wait for the moment when it moves from being in scope to being in design, which means, okay, they've got the plan ready. They're now designing the uh, sort of groundwork to see where they're going to put the... Um, the network cables, where they're going to put the fiber optic box for the exchange. From that point, you can probably expect it to be about a year for it to go through the design phase, then the build phase, then the connect phase, till it being activated. So a whole year. So I was thinking, you know what? I'd take that right now because at least there's light at the end of the tunnel. So I signed on to OpenReach today. I was having a pretty meh day because, you know, I was still thinking about my phone and whatnot. And, you know, it's Wednesday, middle of the week. No one likes middle of the week really. Um, and it had jumped from being in scope to being connected, which means that they've actually built the bloody box. They've got all the cables connected. They've done all the groundwork. And all they're doing now is powering the cabinet, connecting all the fiber optic cables. And as soon as that's done, they'll activate it and we will be ready for fiber optic broadband, which means that I will be able to stream in high quality. I'll be able to upload videos at 1080p again. Um, I'll be able to have more streams. Um, I'll be able to get videos uploaded quicker, which saves time, which means I can do more videos. Um, this is all expected to be ready within eight weeks. So within the next eight weeks, I'm hoping to have super fast fiber optic broadband, which is a lifesaver. Um, and which is kind of why I'm upgrading my case, because at the moment, um, let me show you down here. Um, this case, if I can show you, looks very, very nice. Ignore the mess in the background. Um, but yes, I do like this very much. I'm not doing a very good camera job, but it's hard with the front-facing camera. Um, what I've been experiencing recently with my old case is, firstly, some of the USB ports are busted. 
So it makes it difficult when I've got a lot of stuff to put in USBs. Second, um, the cooling isn't the best. So my CPU is kind of running a bit hot at the moment, which is affecting performance, which affects streams, you know, video rendering, things like that. So this is a more expensive case. Once again, you guys who support me through Patreon, all your money goes through to either paying for my internet, which I won't have to pay for soon because I'm getting new bloody internet and I'm excited as hell. Um, that's going to be £30 off my mind. Um, and it's gone into stuff like this, this amazing new case. Um, it's bigger, so it means that my cable management will be a lot better, which means it'll be cooler. It's got more fans. It's got more USB ports. It's basically better in every way. Um, so I'm excited about that. The only downside is that because I'm going to be installing this for the next hour or two, I haven't had any food. I've only got in from work about an hour ago. It means I'm probably not going to be able to get Daredevil up tonight. Um, if I want to get up Hunter x Hunter for tomorrow, um, I'm going to have to probably leave Daredevil until the weekend. Um, but I'll have videos up for the gaming channel hopefully tomorrow as well. Um, so yeah, there's a bit of a delay for those of you who watch the Daredevil reactions. I apologise about that. But hey, exciting things are happening, you know. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. Because it means now I can afford to stream. Like, take take right now, for example. I'm home alone. Alex is out where I work, do. Um, if this was me when I lived in Liverpool, I'd be like, okay, jump on, let's stream. But because there's a whole faff of setting up the internet, you know, trying to wonder how much data I've got left on my 4G internet, it's like, oh, it's just such a faff. Now I can just switch on that computer... Get ready to go, and boom, we're online. We're online, we're streaming, and it means no more dropouts. Those of you who've been in my streams know that every hour or so, there's a dropout. And it's a case of saying, it'll be back online in a few minutes, don't go anywhere, folks. It's annoying. So, yes, there is light at the end of the tunnel, hallelujah. And although I broke my phone, which kind of sucks, I've got a new one. I'm going to get a protective case, because I don't... I'm quite good at protecting my phone, but this time obviously not. But I blame Blindwave, so you guys let Blindwave know they broke my phone. So, Eric, you guys coming for you. Um, so yeah, no, it's all good. And uh, exciting times ahead. I'm excited again about streaming uh, because it, you know, living in Scotland over the last year has made streaming difficult. And I've still enjoyed the streams I've done. But now to know that I can stream for longer periods, not have to worry about dropouts, not have to worry about data, it lifts a weight off my mind and it's going to help me enjoy those streams a lot more. We're going to get back to the way we used to be, you know, three, four streams a week, and it's going to be awesome. I'm going to play lots of games. So anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Um, I, I'm apologizing about the situation here with the video and the shaky cam and whatnot and no daredevil tonight, but... It's all for a good cause. I'm going to go set this up now. Hopefully it won't blow up my computer like I did last time I tried to install anything new. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you around.